To get started, the first thing we're going to do is to look at what each one of these components means. The first one on the left indicates the number of hours, and by default in DaVinci Resolve, it's one. But it doesn't necessarily mean that right now we're about one hour into the timeline. And we're going to discuss this a little bit more down the road. The one next to it indicates minutes, and the one next to it indicates seconds, and the last one indicates the number of frames. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at some examples. We're going to go ahead and move our playhead a little bit over to the right, and you're going to see that where the playhead is right now positioned is at the 5 seconds and 8 frames mark in our timeline, or you can think of it as about 5 seconds and 8 frames into our timeline. Now, if we keep moving our playhead over to the right, you're going to see that right now our playhead is at the 20 second and 8 frames mark in our timeline. And if we move it a little bit over to the right again, you're going to see that right now the playhead is at the 2 minute and 2 second and 9 frames mark in our timeline. Understanding the number of frames is very important because they are what make up one second in DaVinci Resolve and also they allow us to understand where we are within a second. Now, to figure that out, all we need to do is open up the settings page. And in the settings page, under timeline frame rate, you see that right now it's set to 25 frames per second. And that's the number of frames that make up one second. So as you can see right here, as I push my playhead over to the right, right after the 24th frame, it now turned to a new second. And if I keep doing this, uh, you will see that once again, uh, right after the 24th frame, it now turned to a new second. Okay, now we still have to discuss what the one hour is, uh, how, how to read it, because uh, obviously right now we're not about one hour and two minutes and four seconds into the timeline. So if we leave everything at the DaVinci Resolve default setting, the way we will read this is that our play high is right now positioned uh, at uh, two minutes and the four second mark uh, within the first hour. Another example here, our playhead is located right now at the 3 minute, 6 second, and 3 frame mark, but within the second hour. So this actually is about 1 hour, 3 minutes, 6 seconds, and 3 frames into our timeline. Now, if you prefer a more intuitive reading, like the latter, you can easily change this in DaVinci Resolve. All we need to do is to locate the timeline clip in the media pool and right click, and then go to timelines, and then locate starting time code. And then in the pop-up menu, all we need to do is to change one to zero, and that will reset the time code. So as you can see right now, if we click OK, you'll see that right now it resets the default time code to zero. And so if we go back to our previous uh, location in the timeline, you will see that now we can just read it at its face value. So we're about one hour, three minutes, six seconds, and three frames into our timeline. Okay guys, hope this helps and I will see you next time.